This is Rushing Labs, and today we jump into the Windows command prompt. Okay, so getting into the terminal, first thing I'm going to do is uh, just to open it, I'm going to hit the Windows key, search for CMD, which is short for command prompt. You can also search uh, literally command prompt, um, but I like to stick with CMD, it's just that much faster. Um, so the first two commands I'm going to walk us through are DIR, or DIR for short, and CD. Um, before we get into that, I just want to say that these commands, they might sound like they have some crazy names. Um, I didn't name them. These names have literally been there uh, for a lot of these commands have been there since the days of DOS. So even before Windows, before Windows 3.1 and that sort of thing. So they've been around a while. Um, some of them, it's pretty understandable why they're called the names that they are. And some of them, we don't really know. We are, you know, you really have to research it, go read Wikipedia, read a man page or help text or something like that to figure it out. Um, so now that that's out of the way. Um, also, the next thing is that the terminal sometimes is pretty scary, um, especially if the only way that you've ever interfaced with a Windows computer or any computer for that matter is strictly through the GUI. So file explorer, when, you know, web browser, that sort of thing. So the first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do to try to dispel that fear is just type nonsense into the terminal and hit enter to execute it to show you that it's not going to blow up, nothing's going to happen, it's completely okay. Um, so I could just put nonsense in there, even numbers, and spaces, nothing happens. So if it's not recognized as a command, the computer doesn't crash, it's all okay. Um, Alright, so let's get into the dir command. So the first thing to, to realize is that we, um, the, the prompt has a sit currently sitting at the C drive, users directory, and the medlin, which is my name, uh, the username directory underneath the users directory. So we can do dir, and with nothing behind it, this simply tells us what's in, uh, gives us a, dire a directory listing to tell us what's in the current directory. Um, okay, that's great. Don't really know what we can do with that, but it's nice to know what is in the location that we are in. Um, okay, so if you want to know what else you can do with the command that you're trying to run, um, across all of Windows, at least in the command prompt, you can do a forward slash and a question mark. And this is a pretty standard thing. Uh, this is the same thing as if you're on Linux or Mac OS, as like a, some tools provide a, a dash H or a dash dash help. Um, this is essentially the help text behind the command. So um, the dir command, you know, has a little bit. We can read through it. Okay, so it looks like we have a slash a option to display with attributes. Looks like we have a slash n with new long list format where file names are on the far right. Um, there's all kinds of stuff in here. This really shows you some of the hidden functionality. I say, you know, hidden. Some of the functionality that really you don't really get to see behind Windows um, or behind the computer if you never open the terminal. Um, also we have more help text than what is currently displayable inside the window so we'll press any key to continue um, okay there's not much left um, alright so that's the dir command so now we know that when we get to a directory we can list things that are in it um, also the cls command that you might see me um, typing in that's just short for clear screen so if you've got um, a bunch of stuff and you want to get it out of the way oh, clear screen clears it away okay so now that's great for when we're in one directory how do we change directories that's the CD command short for change directory some of these make sense um, okay so but what do we want to change to well that's what the dir command is for is to know what it's possible for where it's possible for us to move to from our current place okay so let's see we want to move to documents so we just do CD documents and now our prompt has changed and we are in the documents directory. Well, what's in there? DIR again. Okay, um, where else do we want to go from here? Hmm, a junkyard looks fun. Okay, um, CD, C, whoops, if I could type, junkyard. There we go. Well, what's inside of here? Again, more stuff. Um, inside of there, you know, you have all of my Git projects, that sort of thing. Um, oh, well, what did I just type? To, okay, so it looks like we're in Junkyard. There's really nothing of interest here that we want to do. So how do we just go back a directory or go back to where we currently were? 
do change directory again because we are changing a directory and dot dot which is short for one directory back so there we go so now we're back to documents now we're back to medlin which is where we started um, so you might have the question now well if I'm say eight directories deep you know how do I do I have to do CD dot dot over and over and over until I get back mm, maybe um, so let's quickly change to documents slash junkyard just to get a couple of nestings deep um, so you might want to sh you can shorthand these a little bit like a, like a nested um, back shorthand so CD dot dot to go back one slash dot dot to go back to um, yeah you can play with this for you know in number of nested directories um, typically whenever I'm moving around you really don't have to do this more than for two uh, but anyway okay so that's dir and cd let's move on to what's next so a couple of things to note um, and these are just a couple of things to help you move around a little bit faster inside the terminal so if it's your first time you might be thinking that, oh, I've got to, you know, this is kind of clumsy because if I want to move around, I have to type out, if I want to move to a certain directory, I have to type out the entire name of it. No, you have something called tab completion. So we're back in my Medlin users directory. We, um, we execute a DIR to see where we want to go. We want to go to the documents folder or the documents directory. Um, so I do CD, but documents is a long word. I type doc. I can just hit tab and it completes it. And as long as there's not another uh, directory listing that starts with DOC and then something. So as long as there aren't two directories that are that start with DOC and it, there's enough information there essentially for the for the terminal to make a decision automatically, you can tab to complete or you can tap, you know, there's tab completion. Um, so this can save a lot of time whenever you're trying to navigate through um, through directories that have very long names, uh, like for say the the system 32 directory, you know you're trying to go through things that have um, you know tedious names or just they're really long or something like that. The other thing that I want to cover is the uh, and this is something that's a bit strange. If you have any experience on Linux or Mac OS, you'll know that um, there is case sensitivity whenever you're moving through the terminal, meaning that you have to use uppercase and lowercase. Uh, letters or spellings whenever you're actually moving through these. However, on Windows, uh, things are case insensitive for better or worse. Um, so again, let's try to move to the documents directory, except I'm going to use a lowercase c and then do tab to completion. And you see that the terminal automatically, it, it automatically um, uppercase the D and completed the documents for the documents directory. So let's try this again. You know, um, want to go to junkyard. I'm going to clear it so that you can see it at the top of the screen this time. So CD, just JU. So it automatically capitalizes the J and completes junkyard. And then now, now we're in junkyard. Um, so there you go. You have tab completion and case ins insensitivity. Um, again, for better or worse, sometimes this leads to some nuance and some crazy things but those are edge cases so we'll just stick away for that um, anyway there you go that's the terminal that's just some basic commands to get you moving around dir and cd are probably the two most frequently used commands that i use um, on windows whenever i'm moving through the terminal for anyone who is already familiar with this i understand this is completely basic but if you've never seen the terminal before this is enough to get you moving around, gain a little bit of confidence, and whenever you're running through some of those um, some of those newer web development tools like NPM or Yarn or anything like that, where it requires you to you know actually use the terminal and use the command line a little bit more, um, hopefully this gives you a little bit more confidence so that you can step into those tools and you, there's there's no fear there. You don't think that you're going to break anything. Um, but anyway. Thanks for sticking around. If you've made it this far, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope to have more of these coming up soon. They'll be they'll get fairly more advanced, possibly into some um, some Windows scripting, possibly into some Bash scripting. Um, but I'm going to start very low key for now. Move into that stuff later. Uh, move into you know crazy commands. But uh, if you like the video, please click the like button. If you didn't like it, well, you can hit that button too. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe, stick around. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know of anything else that you'd like to see coming forward. Um, this channel is all about programming and video games and basically just 
being enthusiastic about the tech we use every single day so that we can try to do something new with it. So if you like, if you see something that you like, you definitely should try it at home.